Hey everyone, welcome back to the NFT Sports Show. Hope everyone's doing well. Um, it's great to be back posting consistently. Of course, if this is your first time watching it again over from a few months ago, we are posting consistently on TikTok, on Instagram, on YouTube. So make sure to catch up with weekly sport news, uh, watching more short-term um news and obviously this is more of a long-term long-term form which is really really nice having that mix and also we have now a brand new website where we're going to be posting more news if you would like to read an article uh when they are having breakfast or lunch instead of listening all the time so you got that nice little mix so today i thought about talking about three brand new uh news uh, which is different sports quite nice actually uh, three different sports three different news the first one which is really really interesting and it's kind of like um, a what if because i don't think this will happen but we know a uefa Champions league final the biggest football event probably if you look at the numbers one of the biggest events in the world ever uh, the Champions league final was real madrid Liverpool, uh a, few, a month ago in may a month ago yes and we knew there was massive chaos. Uh, then hopefully it was shown in the media, wherever you are listening to, but there was massive chaos for fans getting to the stadium, for Real Madrid fans and Liverpool fans. And you couldn't, uh, people didn't know, uh, police or ticket people didn't know if it was, tickets were real or fake. And a lot of fans missed out, didn't even watch the game. And a lot of people who had fake tickets were able to get into the game. That's horrendous. Like, that is honestly horrendous. So... Why you thinking, oh, what, what, is, what is Squirrel saying? And now you're going to put the pieces together. This is why UEFA may be interested in NFTs as tickets. And this is just another reason why NFTs will be a success as a ticket from, I mean, the value from selling NFT in the future, let's say next uh, Champions League final, um, it's just a profit potential. Next, thing, next Champions League final, and it was something historic, like the Istanbul final, where we know the Istanbul final, Liverpool, Ace Milan, Historic, the Bayern Munich, final, Bayern Munich final, Didier Drogba, historic. Now, probably what, 30, 40,000 entities in that ticket, in that event. So only 30, 40,000 entities will ever be available. Um, maybe that one of those entities, uh, maybe each ticket was designed just randomly and had different uh, entity value depending on how expensive it was. And maybe in 100 years' time, someone wants to collect uh, a version of that amazing uh, event and they could buy the entity. And you know, you know how entities work. And the, the person at the beginning will have a, a royalty of every sale and so on. So, and then so on and so on. It's just quite super, super exciting. Now, that's from a profit perspective. Now, from actually a, well, a, 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 the most important perspective is ticketing. If you have, if each, if each ticket was an NFT and obviously through the blockchain, you would be able to see if the ticket was valid or not. There is no scam. There is no printing a ticket to say, oh, this is, oh, this is my ticket. It's fake it's clear to see that that entity is a real ticket you've bought it and that is going to be one way to really just knowledge between a fake ticket and a real uh, ticket now the chaos in a lot of situations the entity is not going to solve of course but from the fake tickets and a lot of people entering stadium that will really just really make every single ticket accurate because there are ways to, fuel, uh, to fake tickets, and especially you can see now with social media, like people who love uh, ideas of sneaking in and so on with credentials. And if everything was an NFT, then those videos aren't going to be working anymore because you can't really fake anything on the blockchain. Obviously, it's spa uh, scams, but from a ticket perspective, that's not going to happen. So how, how interesting is that going to be? Maybe we'll look back in a year's time. And we're like, oh, that's happened. And it'll be really cool to reflect. The next topic is really cool. So we know EuroLeague, this is something I first time I've heard of EuroLeague. And this is really interesting because they've kind of in, they've incorporated everything. So EuroLeague is a basketball league, um, which I've learned about. It's a league basketball competition. And basically what they're doing is their own version of the NBA Top Shop. So they're, they're partnering with a company called Lancy International to basically launch their interactive video entities this is basically to celebrate uh players um, um amazing achievements um clubs and digital videos and all these type of things which kind of nba top shop do but have their own version it's going to be called the euro euro reels which obviously reels is like an instagram tiktok version but it's quite an interesting nice little remix is going to be designed on web 3.0 and it's going to be just another way for this lead to generate more revenue and to basically celebrate achievements. And basically, guess what? Even me 
talking about it, I am now I've learned something new about it. So it's work. They want to get new new eyes, new faces, and it's work because now I'm talking about it, and I'm sure a lot of people. Well, that's interesting. And now when they post more social media content, bring those social media for content to their website. Guess what? Maybe more eyes, more revenue for this company. So win win and entities. Um, if you are interested, and lastly, another quite interesting this. Um, so acrobatics. Um. The world. Um, this is this is a. I think it's a. I mean, yeah. They there's. Let me make sure that I've got the right sport because that'd be really embarrassing if I got the wrong sport. Um, championship. Yeah. So. So this swimming competition. Um, that last happened in 2019, and it's the first time it's happening. And what they're doing is, for people who win this competition. Uh, or break no people who break world records in this competition will receive an NFT and a fifty thousand dollar bonus. Now, I don't know what the NFT is going to be. Maybe it's like a little trophy. Like you remember uh, for the Euros, the gold of the month, the gold of this tournament got an NFT trophy. Now, I guess that's like a, a virtual award. Is the person going to be selling it on maybe, or maybe they could create a thousand of them and then sell it on? So there's quite various ways they can do it. But it's quite interesting to see that another sport is with a new, uh, they've not had a, a championship in a few years. They're coming to a new championship this year um, and they're bringing NFTs, which is quite cool. Now, is that going to be the only NFT? Is it going to be NFTs for players and so on? Not, no, not sure yet. So those are three little updates with the world of sports. Um, a lot of new updates, of course, you can see on the website. Uh, we're talking about F1 all the time. We're talking about basketball, we're talking about soccer, football. Um, really, really interesting topics which are happening around the world. I'm obviously wanting to update stuff as well. Like, obviously, something happens and this is NFT land. So, a topic starts and, oh, maybe it flops or maybe uh, something really amazing happened. And that's what's so exciting about this topic, uh, NFT sports, because um, it can go both ways you know and that's why it's really really important to do your research especially last we spoke about it in the last podcast that a, a foot, footballers from croatia and into milan were publicizing over fantasizing over this crypto topic they were paid to post this tweet and post this instagram story and that flopped by 98 percent. so just because they post about it who are celebrities doesn't mean it's going to be a successful project that's why you've got to do your research anyway hope you enjoy this and i look forward to you listening to me next to the next episode speak soon